everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, welcome, I'm Clea. And if you're not, what is up? All right, so welcome back. I know it's been a little bit since I've been on here, but I am taking summer classes, so that unfortunately has been taking up all of my time. But I'm gonna try and post as much as I can before my next um, round of summer classes start. Just trying to bang out this degree. So as I get closer to graduating, I will obviously share more, but as of right now, I'm just trying my best to just power through it. But anyways, for today's look, um, I did more of like a matte summer look. This is what I've been doing for when I go out or when I do go out. Um, I've been sticking to more of a matte look. If you wanna see how I come up with it, then watch, of course. Or if you have a sweating problem like I do in the summer, then obviously watch and see what products I use. Obviously in the summer, I like sticking to more matte. Um, and yeah, that's what I did with this look. So hopefully you guys like it. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, commenting. I always say it never goes unnoticed because it really does not. Thank you so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Hello everyone. Okay, so we're gonna go in my wonderful makeup bag over here. So first things first, I'm gonna go in with this Kiehl's Oil Eliminator. Um, it's a moisturizer for men, but I highly recommend it if you have oily skin. It really sucks up all your um, oil and it's so great, even under foundation. So I'm gonna go in with this BB Maybelline cream or BB foundation from Maybelline. Um, it's very sheer, that's why I do like it. It doesn't add a ton of coverage. And I don't like a ton of coverage in the summer because I feel like my skin just feels so heavy. So I usually just do one layer with a beauty blender and I'm good to go with that. And again, it's super lightweight, so it's great if you don't want a ton of coverage. And now I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I'm gonna go in with the Elia concealer. Again, this is very lightweight. I usually just apply one layer and I'm good to go. I will use my beauty blender or sometimes even my fingers just to go ahead and blend it in. And then that's what we're gonna do. And then afterwards, I'm gonna go ahead and use this e.l.f. brow pencil. Um, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy with my brows. Obviously, I don't got a ton, but we're gonna go ahead and just fill in all those empty spots. I love this one. It's like three bucks and I get it from Walmart and I feel like it does wonders. I'll just use that part first and then I'll use a spoolie right after to go ahead and just brush it out and that way it looks more natural. And then I will go in with this brow gel from Dior. I love this one too. It's very lightweight, so it just adds a little bit more... Um, a little bit more of an oomph to your brows, I guess you can say. Now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a cream bronzer. Um, I can't pronounce this brand, Kaya, I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm probably butchering it, but it's so great. Again, lightweight and very easy to blend out with your beauty blender or even if you want with a brush. So I will just do that and that way it just gives me a little bit of a bronzy glow. Now I'm going to go in with this Cover FX Matte um, Translucent Powder. It does add a little bit of coverage or nothing too crazy. I got it in the medium um, color. So just a tad bit of coverage, nothing crazy. And I will just add that all over my face. And again, this is a great powder too. If you are oily in the summer, I definitely recommend doing a matte powder just so it can really suck up all that extra oil that you may have or sweat like I do. And now I'm going to go in with a matte blush. Mine is from MAC. I think it's gingerly, but I'll leave it down below like I always do. So we're just going to apply that to the top of our cheekbones. And then for eyes, I'm not doing anything crazy. Just throwing on a matte shade. Um, this is from the Huda Beauty Palette. I'm just throwing like a moth pink shade right on my crease. And we're just going to go ahead and blend it out. Alright, so now I'm going to go in with this Marc Jacobs eyeliner. I'm not using anything black or dark. I really wanted to just keep the eye look um, super bright. And I love these little um, eyeliners that Marc Jacobs came out with. I feel like they really just are so summery. So we're going to apply that to the upper part of our lash line. And then I'm going to do my favorite thing that I like to do is cut my eyelashes in half and apply the outer part to the outer um, part of my eye. That way it just opens up my eye and elongates it. And yeah, that's what we're going to do. And I felt like at this point, my face was just kind of looking a little flat. So I added a little bit more dimension with this blush. I think they're called Baked Blushes by MAC. I just added it to the top of my cheekbones. Just add a little bit more color. Nothing too crazy. And I felt like it looked really good all day long. So that's what we're doing to the face. And then as always, we're going to go ahead and combine our natural lashes with the falsies. So I'm just using this Maybelline mascara. I love this one. I'll leave this down below too. Don't worry, I got you. And we're going to apply that all over just to go ahead and blend them all in. And then for lip liner, I'm using the Carly Bible lip liner that she came out with with El Maquillage. And that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!